So Assassin's Creed 3 remains the only mainline Assassin's Creed game that I have never played a single second of, but that's all about to change here with Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. For some reason, I don't know why I haven't played this unless... I doubt it, but unless I've just played it and I don't remember a single thing from it, but I don't think that's the case. I remember all the Assassin's Creed games pretty much. But yeah, I, I'm really excited to get back into an old school Assassin's Creed games. I feel like with the new Assassin's Creed games, the soul has kind of gone out of the series. So I, I'm going to prefer playing through this, I think. Uh, the Ezio games were my favorite. I really love the three Ezio games. Those three are my favorite three Assassin's Creed games. And this one came right after those. So I'm kind of surprised that I never played it. I don't know why, as I said. But we're going to check it out here today. Uh, thank you to Ubisoft for providing me with the review code so I can get this up on time for the embargo. If you want to see it as a full series, please just hit that like button. You know what to do. Let's hit 100 likes for this video and I'll make it into a series. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I'm excited to Used check to it out for the first time. Talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Wait, what? All right, that should be good. I'm ready to start off. I'm actually really excited to play this, guys, because I love Assassin's Creed. I'm making a top 15 franchises video of all time right now, and I don't want to spoil the list, but Assassin's Creed is well up there. So let's jump in. Let's play Assassin's Creed 3 for the first time. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe some hidden some found all of them dangerous most are held by a single group the same group that now had desmond you know them as abstergo industries we know them as the templars as the enemy we've been fighting them for thousands of years even longer if you believe the stories of their origins i do after all i've seen the truth that's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization the ones who came before. A precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name, is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. God damn, that gave me goosebumps. Old school Assassin's Creed, I love it. Oh my god, I absolutely love it, dude. That's what, how the Assassin's Creed story should be, man, honestly. Let's go. 
Desmond Miles, Templars, Assassins. Not this Assassin's Creed Odyssey stuff. Come on. We're here. In terms of a remaster, though, it doesn't look amazing or anything. And it, it seems to be, like, kind of stuttering a little bit, so... That's kind of a disappointment, but... Overall, I'm just excited to play this game for the first time anyway, so... If I was playing it for a second time, I might be a little bit more upset. Because, yeah, it definitely doesn't look, like, astonishing or anything. Alright, boys, let's get it. Apple of Eden. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Uh, I love that guy. I love to hate that guy. Down we go. Oh, what the? What the? I think soon enough I'll realize whether I have played this game or not, but I don't think that I have, to be honest. I think we're here. Nathan Drake! Forgot about that. <laughs> and down we go. You guys coming or what? They're not coming. Guess we're going by ourselves then. What's down here? The walls are kind of lighting up and shit. You can definitely tell it's like a, an old game though, like if I was playing this right now I could tell it's not a, like a new game. It is just a remaster I guess, not a remake. Love the music in these games as well. A lot of people are turning their music off on YouTube videos now, but I just don't think I can do it. Like, music is too important in games to me to just key. turn it off. You must find the key. Son? Whoa, that's trippy. Sir. Here we go again. <laughs> Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. 
What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. I can't do it. Yeet. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. I know how to climb. I'm an Assassin's Creed pro, guys. Come on. Although it does feel weird playing like an old school one because controls are a lot different. But I did play the, the Ezio trilogy, the remasters of those. I think I played through two on the channel. I done a part one of Brotherhood, or a couple parts of Brotherhood, and a couple parts, uh, maybe one part of Revelations because they didn't really do that well. But Assassin's Creed 2 done well. This Which was fun. So hopefully Assassin's Creed 3 does well as well. Hey! 100 likes, baby. Let's go. Skills. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, All right Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Assassination. There's our first assassination, baby. Where's the other guy? Yo, saw dude. What's up? All you have to do here <laughs> is jump the gap. Love it, man. Actual assassin work. Wait, I didn't jump the gap, did I? Oh, I did. Ooh, just about made that. Wait, what are you doing, bro? Why didn't you jump up to the thing? <laughs> you didn't jump up. And then, from here... There you go. Yeah, that's what you should have done the first time. You just didn't grab on the first time. You just jumped down or something. Hey! Hey! Everything's still loading in, man. This is weird. Boom. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. And we're in! Who are we, though? Who are we? I think... No, I might be wrong there. Is his name Connor? I can't remember. I didn't play this game, so it's not like I would remember, but I think I remember people saying that. That could be a different game. That could be a... I don't even know, to be honest. Altair and Etsy are the two goats anyway. I know that much. Alright, everything's coming into effect here. Give me color. Give sir. me light. Sir. Everything alright, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. I love his accent already. Love it. A deadly performance. Start mission. Give us light, sir. There we go. 1754. Wow. Shall I take your coat, sir? New email received. Leave the animus to read it. And gentlemen. So can I check, like, um... 
characters and stuff like that. Notifications, Theater Royale, Animus Database, Recent Entries, Theater Royale, or you might hear this referred to as Covent Garden, the Royal Opera House, yes, yes. The reason it held the exclusive rights to perform spoken drama in London. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Sean Hastings. Oh, yeah, Sean. We know Sean. Yeah, so they're not showing us any other car characters just yet. We know Ezio, obviously. The greatest. Ezio Auditore da Firenze was a master assassin during the Italian rena Renaissance, as well as being an inheritor to the mysterious ability of eagle vision and one of your ancestors. Ezio was something of a playboy in his teenage years. Yes, I remember it well, baby. But his life changed in 1476 when his father and brothers were arrested and executed for treason. I remember that well, too. Ezio tried to save them, but the evidence clearing their names mysteriously disappeared in the hands of a family friend. Instead, they were hanged as Ezio looked on. Ezio fled with his mother and sister. I remember all of this so vividly, man. Ezio's just the greatest. I absolutely love Ezio. After several setbacks over the next few years, Ezio traveled to Rome in 1499 to confront Rodrigo. That scumbag. Hmm. Uh, I love reading about Ezio, man. He retired from the Brotherhood shortly thereafter, which is what we call ending on a high note. He was terrific at jumping, too. Ezio died in Florence in 1524. God damn, and of course, our man Altair. I remember him as well. I don't remember, like, all of Assassin's Creed 1's story, though. His early life wasn't a happy one. His mother died during childbirth. Then when he was a young boy, his father was killed during the first siege of Masyef. Only shortly thereafter, the assassin he died... Wait. Only shortly thereafter, the assassin he died to... Oh, he died to save. Committed suicide in front of the 11-year-old Altair. That's it. My bad. When, with his parents gone... Wait, I wanted to read that, man. With his parents gone, Altair looked to Al-Mualim, the then mentor of the Order, as a father figure. Uh, recognized Altair's potential and took on his training personally. Altair reached rank of Master Assassin by the age of 25, an unheard of accomplishment. If there was an Assassin book of records, there'd probably be a picture of this fella on the front. Altair was one of the best fighters in Assassin history, with an arrogance to match. After a disastrous mission in 1191, in which he broke the creed and very nearly let an apple of Eden fall into Templar hands, Altair was sent back down to novice rank and forced to begin again. He was responsible for taking out major players in the Templar Order at the time, including Grandmaster Robert the Sable. Uh, tragically, in the end, he was also forced to kill... Ah, uh, uh, come on. He turned out to be both the Templar and corrupted by the influence of the Apple. After his mentor's death, Altair took control of the Order, turning it into the secret and world-spanning organization it is today. One of the things that made Altair such a deadly assassin was something we now call Eagle Vision, a kind of sixth sense inherited from the first civilization, it allowed him to read his enemies and surroundings in a way that goes beyond what the human eye can see. Of course I know about that. <laughs> uh, I love reading about that, man. Altair and, um, people. Oh, here we go. Individuals? Oh, yeah. We only know about them. I'm sure they're going to tell us more soon. requested to kindly find your seats. Let's find a seat. Sorry if that was a little boring, but I kind of just felt like reading about Altair and Ezio. I don't think it's boring personally, but... This way, please. Maybe some people would. I don't know. In here? My apologies. My apologies. Gotta love the accent. What kind of show's on, huh? Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Guessing it's our next target. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. 
You'll need to find another way up. So is mine. See a ladder? I already have. Sorry, need to go to the toilet real quick, guys. I know the show just started. So sorry. My apologies. He's just pushing back down. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Reginald Birch. He came into the Animus database right there. Reginald was a London merchant, the son of another London merchant. Conveniently enough, also had the last name Birch. What? Why wouldn't he have the last name Birch? If he's his goddamn father. Oh, it's a joke. <laughs> Birch started in business for himself at an early age. By the time he was in his mid-twenties, he already owned several merchant ships, mainly dealing with the tea trade to the American colonies. That's pretty good going, seeing as by the time most people are in their mid-twenties, they don't even own a shirt. Hey, I own many shirts, and I'm in my mid-twenties, okay? I have him as part... I have him as part owner of the Providence, among others. Later in life, Birch also owned several businesses in and around London. He was a member of White's, which was a posh gentleman's club in London. Nice. Generally, a well-known and respected man about town. From what I can tell, Birch, made Haytham, Birch met Haytham Kenway. So that's who we are, Haytham Kenway, while working for his father, Edward. Oh, Edward Kenway, yeah. They were introduced at White's while Haytham was still quite young. Birch would eventually take over Haytham's education, tutoring him while on a tour of Europe in the 1730s. From what we've seen in the Animus, it seems their friendship continued into adulthood, with them working together as members of the Assassins. Nice. Do they not have one about, uh, about us yet? Because I want to read about Haytham. I don't really know that much about him, to be honest. He's Edward Kenway's son, though, which is kind of cool. Wait, this ladder is hard. Oh, you're around here. <laughs> I was going to say, that doesn't even lead anywhere, man. As if nobody's going to see us here, man. What? Oh, these two are kissing. Come on, man. Watch the show. He's got his head in her titties. He's motorboating her. Come on, man. She just stopped him. She was like, that's too far, brother. There's a show on. No, she's back at it again. Surely someone in the crowd sees us right now. Like, just... Look, look at all this crowd down here. Not one of them just looked up for a second and saw us goddamn climbing the balcony. It's kind of crazy. What's up, guys? How you doing? How's it going? Don't mind me. Oh, we're up. Pick lock. There we go. Boom. Wasn't too difficult. That was manageable at least. Find a way across the state. Oh, I pressed R2, my bad. I'm gonna do No one heard that? No one heard that? Clutch? The Beggar's Opera. Beggar's Opera opened in London in 1728. It's a musical, one of the earliest ever created. It was written by John Gay, a writer and friend of both Alexander Pope and Jonathan Swift. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care too much about the Beggar's Opera, to be honest, to read all that. It's quite risky, this, isn't it? Burning up the boards. There we go. Uh, let's pull off our first assassination with Haytham. Hey, 
pay for them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. No, there's a boy watching, what? He's not a relation to that guy. That's pretty fucked if he is. We're gonna hear the screams? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a man was killed but, uh, in the other I, I've done no wrong. I swear. Oh, like Any weapons? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, they thought it was like a. We're fine. No one can find us now, surely. We got far enough away from the scene of the crime. What the hell's that guy running for, huh? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, it wasn't even him. It was me, mate. I confess. Oh, the outside still hasn't loaded in, man. We going back in outside the animus after this? I think we might be. Nope. Never mind. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. <laughs> Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. I know that voice. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Love it. Sequence one, a deadly performance is completed. 
100 out of 100. Give me a trophy for that. Trophies might not even be live yet. I just realized. Boom, boom, baby. He looks pretty cool. I like him so far. I like his accent. I like his swagger. I like his style. So I'm hoping that the story is there to match it all. Are we going to be doing ship combat? Is this where it started? I thought it all started in the black flag, kind of, really. Like, I know there was little bits and bobs, but... Is this going to be, like, proper actual ship stuff? Share might do me good. Yep, cool. Anima database, the Providence. The Providence, the Provident was one of the many sailing ships in the British Merchant Navy, which basically means it was a trade ship rather than one main f meant for war. You'll notice it's carrying cannon, but those are mainly for protection against pirate. I, God, I got confused because it said pirate and then private. <laughs> pirate or privateer vessels are for turning the ship into a privateer vessel should need... Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. The Providence. We know it. We know the Providence. What's up, guys? Let's have a look at view. It's not great, really, is it? The view is not brilliant. Kind of blurry. Honestly, the graphics are and not very impressive. Will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnell. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. You don't want to fuck with me, dude. Come on. Stay out of this. A bad idea, dude. You don't know who the fuck I am, who you're messing with, pal. I'm supposed to hold it. Well, I am doing it, dude. I'm doing it. Why isn't it working? It's not working. Ah, oh, I see. I had to hold it before it came up. I'm an idiot. Get fucked up, buddy. Easy clap. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain sees the us. hell with the captain. And the hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? He's on mine. This feels really slow, this combat, but. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Neck breaker. Are well, ready to go again if you are? This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Come on, buddy. You're just getting fucked up, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Never! These odds. He's got a sword now. Okay, buddy. Oh, wait. What did it say? Oh, at the right moment. Boom, like that. X. Whoop. Pop. What's the meaning of this? Captain. Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. 
Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> what a badass. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Jeez. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. <laughs> oh, I love it. Good day. <laughs> He's just questioning his life choices right now. You can see it in his face. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I like this Kenway guy. Hey, them the beast. Day 28, damn. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Investigate the crew. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. He's a shitty smeller. Won't hardly take his hat off. Quiet! Here he comes. Make like you're working. Make like you're working. Really, buddy? Okay, really? You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Okay. We shall do that then. We can play games right now, but I think we need to investigate the crew a little bit first. Speak with the doctor or the cook. Try the cook first. I assume this is the, the cook up here. Yep. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. James. Okay. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Sitting on the barrel. Oh, over here. So we don't need to speak with the doctor, I guess. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Okay. So what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but... There's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. 
I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Thank you for your help, James. We appreciate it, man. Alright, let's look for clues. Detective work, baby. I thought that was a mummy for a second. The white all over there. Gotta get 100% and this is where we, we completed the optional objective, so should be able to get 100% unless there's two optional objectives. Which Evening, I doubt. Sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Hmm. Someone's throwing cargo overboard? Who would do such a thing, honestly? You just said the same thing a while ago, mate. Who did it? Curious. Hmm. Most curious. Most curious indeed. Whatever will we do? Day 33, five days later, okay. Are we nearing Boston yet? Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Finds us. Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! We actually doing ship combat right now? A uh, warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? That wouldn't be wise, honestly, mate. Just being on, just being completely honest, that wouldn't be wise. Secure the hatch. Hate him. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. But strange, there's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Mills all along. Let's get it, baby. Come on, man. Bop. 
Come on, you want some? I think he's fucked. I think he's done, dude. I'm gonna parry him. Oh, nice. That was actually sick, mate. Oh, you're doing it again. Okay, buddy. He, well, he keeps doing that where I'm, I counter him and he punches me. Oh, that's because I, I got those things. I wasn't actually doing it properly. Disarmed him, though. Every time I go to kill him, he, he blocks it. He's dead. You need to get used to the combat, guys, because, as I said, I haven't played a, an old-school Assassin's Creed game in a while, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to the combat again. That wasn't ideal, but we got there. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. <laughs> you love to see it, man. The storm we go. This should be fun. We need those ropes secured. I told you this was bad. On yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. Like this is a little bit of a mess, but we should be fine. I'm gonna stay calm. Stay freaking calm. We're all good, baby. Storm ain't got nothing on us. Hey, what was that? Not a broken rope, please. the best plan in the world when there's a storm like this, but fuck in you do. Balance yourself, Atham. Oh no. Got you, James. Spear him. I spear oh, my oh, Roman Reigns. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They still chasing us? They must really want me. Oh, oh, they went down. They're gone. Day 72, damn.
Imagine being that long on a ship. Like over two months. God damn, bro. Did we make it? Meet the captain. There was two optional objectives and we got them both. Easy. We're nearly there. Seems like he saw land or something. Make ready for our arrival, men. Yes. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. I see. Seagulls. We're gonna do a leap of faith off the top of this. We haven't done a leap of faith yet. It's been too long, man. It's nearly been an hour and we haven't done a leap of faith. It's craziness. We better do one, because I ain't fucking... I'm walking all the way back down there. Journey to the new world. Woo! I'm really enjoying this so far, man. I am. It just feels good to be playing an Assassin's Creed like a game like this. Time will tell whether the story is good, but I really like the character so far. I like the setting we're moving from London to, to Boston, America. Pretty neat. Boston. Sequence 1 is completed, boys. Sequence 1 is done and dusted. Journey to the New Master World, Kenway. it was called. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Thank you. Are you Appreciate by any chance John and Isabella's son? Charles Lee? Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. Hello, if sir. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I Bloody think you hell. overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Should we stop him? The guards just let him run. Run? Let him run? That doesn't even make sense. The guards just let him let him run. That's kind of weird. He just stole that. He just Boston's stole from that poor lady. Lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Boston does look pretty. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Yeah, Boston looks pretty, to be fair. It does. Looks good. Uh, find a general store. Okay. Well, uh, should be one right here. And set a marker. And we shall go there. Oh, a dog! Ha <laughs> ha! Can you pet the dog? Can you pet the dog? This game... I want to tweet that Twitter account right now. Can you pet the dog in Assassin's Creed 3 Master 3 Remastered? No, you can't. I'm returning it, guys. Sorry. Even though I didn't pay for it in the first place. I'm returning the code, okay? We found the general store. Damn, Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. 
the old Balkan file. And though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. That's Anything dope. Can wait. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. That's a motherfucking oh, founding father. That was interesting. That's awesome. Benjamin Franklin, dude. I love the way you meet such like famous historical figures throughout the throughout the Assassin's Creed games. It's beautiful. Alright. Benjamin fucking Franklin, mate. What are you what do you want, mate? It's a mission? Is that a side mission? Let's go in here first. Come and enter, please. What's up, man? Sword and a pistol. I'm down to buy a sword and a pistol. Um, normal weapons. We want to buy a sword. A normal sword, I'm guessing, is all we can afford right now. That's all that you're selling anyway, so... I guess we'll go with the normal sword. Not that we have much choice. It looks a little rusted, so I was hoping for a knockdown price. But you know what? I, I won't... Uh, I won't try and bargain with you. We got a flintlock pistol. This game is just added into Fortnite, actually. Um, flintlock pistol. No item purchase. Bang, bang. 150 bucks. Not too bad, I suppose. Although back then it was probably a lot more money. Exit the shop and equip the purchased weapons. What do you want, buddy? Support the community. St. Mary's will be raising funds to repair storm damage to the steeple. Deliver the letters in Boston. Okay, I'll accept that. I don't think we have to do that now, anyway. And let's follow Lee to the Green Dragon. Wrong button. My bad. Let's go. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. Oops, sorry, lady. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? I, William Johnson, waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Yeah, see, I always thought that Assassin's Creed 3, you played as Connor. Unless you just play the Stark bit as Haytham, this guy. I didn't know about this guy, and but maybe you play the start as him, and then you play as Connor or something like that. I don't know how it works. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game, though. I could be thinking of a different game. I'm not positive. Welcome to Boston. Mission complete. That was an easy mission. Full synchronization. I should hope so. Right, let us go forth. A favor. A favor. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearie. Please <laughs> sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. <laughs> Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Oh, God. This way. I want to have a look down here first, mate. I want to sit around the fire for a little bit. Alright, I'm coming, Charles. Give me a second, buddy. 
New weapon available in shops. Oh, we got a cut toe sword already. And smoke bombs. We just unlocked them for doing this mission? Chase the almanac page to collect it. Guessing this isn't our room. Charles Lee, my friend. New email received. Leave the animus to read it. Should I be leaving the animus every now and then? Or like, does it do it automatically Sir, sometimes? William Johnson. William? A pleasure. A good lad. If a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Thomas Hickey and that guy, uh, William Johnson, are both Irish, I believe. I know the names from history. William Johnson and Thomas Hickey. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have a look at these. I want to see these. Thomas Hickey was, yep, an Irish-born member of the British Army. He arrived in Boston in 1752, but it wasn't long before he was assigned to William Johnson's personal guard. Apparently, at Johnson's request, possibly because their families were connected in Ireland, or maybe he found the name Hickey funny. The record isn't clear. I'm Irish, by the way. Um, just in case you didn't know, because I don't have a strong accent or anything, I am Irish. Republic of Ireland, baby. Uh, Hickey served under Johnson during the French and Indian War, but then he left the army after being written up several times for disorderly conduct. After 1760, Hickey disappears from the historical record for several years. I do, however, have several mentions in William Johnson's household accounts of payments made to TH. It's possible Hickey was working for him as a spy. If so... He should really have developed some tougher codes to crack. Hmm. William Johnson, here we go. William Johnson was a land speculator and Britain's principal treaty negotiator with the indigenous people in the northern part of the colonies, particularly in the... I don't know how to say that word, I'm sorry. Johnson was born in Ireland but moved to the colonies in 1738 to look after his uncle's property on the Mohawk River. However, it wasn't long before Johnson branched out into the business for himself, acquiring property on the opposite side of the river and setting up a sawmill and trading post, which he named Mount Johnson. Yes, yes. Johnson befriended indigenous people in the area, learned their language, his respect for their custom, helped them rise to prominence. Johnson was named superintendent of Indian Affairs in 1756. He's probably the best you'll find as a contact. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Benjamin Franklin we obviously know all about. Uh, the main man, the founding father. Yada, yada, yada. We know about ben Benjamin. We don't um, We don't need to read up on him, really, do we? Charles Lee was a British soldier who went on to be a major figure in the Revolutionary War. He became an... Oh, okay. He was sent to the colonies in 1755. British Prime Minister found that his military career had inexplicably completely stalled. All right, we know about all the people in our circle since we've come to Boston now. So let us continue on with the story for now. Follow Charles Lee again. Where are you at, Charles? Charles, my friend. You've left so soon. I'm going to find Thomas Hickey, I guess. Thomas, where are you? Wait. I oh, just fast traveled us here? Okay. Yo, Johnson's errand. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. 
I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half or four before they've even realized what's happened. I like it. I can dig it. Hold L2 to aim. While holding, press R2 to shoot. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. We have eight shots left. Climb the cliff to enter the hideout. Option wait, what the was the optional objective? Kill the mercenaries what? How do I check that? How do I check that? Kill mercenaries using firearms, one of ten. But I only have seven bullets. Can I get ammo off these guys maybe? Wait, wait, wait. No. no. I wanna get the ammo off these guys. Shit, dude. Loose. No, I didn't want to pick him up, for God's sake. <laughs> I wanted to loot him. Can I not loot him now anymore? Alright, whatever. Shoot a guard at the fourth entrance. Okay. Alright, element of surprise, boys. Okay, these are all enemies. Well, what was I supposed to do then? What was I supposed to do? Like, I don't understand. Stop! Move! Come on! Come on, you want some? Boom! Get absolutely wrecked, pal. Get absolutely destroyed, kid. Love it. You love to see it. I'm just countering and murdering these guys badly. See you later, pal. Good luck. God bless you. Sorry, pal. Damn it, I missed. That's pathetic, honestly. I only just take, take to reload, by the way. Christ almighty. Okay, now we got it. There we go. He won't shoot it, though. He will not shoot, bird. Please shoot. Oh my god. 7 out of 10. How the hell do we have 7 out of 10? I've only killed, uh... I've only killed one using a firearm, haven't I? Okay, let's just push forward a little bit. Where the hell are these guys, anyway? There's loads on my map, but I can't see any. Oh, this one right here. Hey, buddy. Whoa, buddy! Where'd you guys come from? Sorry, pal. Enjoy your life. No, I was gonna shoot him. <laughs> he was surrendering, but I was gonna shoot him. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! Damn it, I didn't get 100% sync on that. We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot him. Damn it, I think I failed that one, man. Oh no, we still we can still do it? The sensitivity with the shooting's <laughs> awful. Show, Retrieve the stolen chest. Come on, let Guess me kill it. Wasn't so safe inside after all. <laughs> Guess not, man. I right, hope there's a few more enemies that I can shoot. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Get! 
Boom! Whoa, buddy! I want to shoot someone. Let me shoot someone. No, come on! That's it. Only got eight out of ten. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. That's kind of badass, honestly. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many had to die. Dude, I'm trying to loot him. Terrible tragedy, that. Won't work. There we go. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Right, I'm guessing there's going to be a couple more along the way then. Oh, I need to shoot two more people, man. Come on. That's it. Yeah. Here we go. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. Where are they? We'll take How long does it take to reload? I'm there, there. Deal with them. Damn it, man. I'm just here trying to get would be a shame to let it all go to waste. I'm Are literally just mad? trying to get my gun out. In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Aww. Why is you always got to go and spoil the fool? Come on, there's got to be more along the way, please. I beg. I think there is. I see you guys already running around the place. What you guys doing up here? They're hiding in the forest, I bet. Come on, who wants them? I wish it was easier to hit with the gun, and it's really hard to hit people with the gun. There we go. I out of ten, baby. There we go. Bang! Alright, I don't even need to use the gun again. It's really annoying trying to use that goddamn gun, actually, to be honest. I'm just gonna sword everyone now. Come on, who wants some? These guys up here. Are you looking for some pal? Well, I'm not even gonna shoot you. I'm gonna jump up on you, fuck. Pop, pop, pop. Get knocked off the building. You too, buddy. Clean your gun there, pal. It's too late for you, sir. We have to not let them lose more than half of you. Shit. With knives, they ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. You what, mate? Who wants some? Come on. All these guys up here? There's more guys up here. Come on, then. Wait, where are they? Come on, fools! Get absolutely wrecked, buddy. Nice. That was a sick block right there. Let's go. Thomas Hickey's kind of low on health. It's triggering me. Wait, who's shooting? The guy's on top of his roof or what? Quit that, buddy. Quit shooting my pals, all right? You want some too? Look down here. Down here, guys. Right here. Shoot at me, not them. Leave Thomas alone. You can shoot Charles a little bit, but if you leave that Thomas alone for now, that'd be idea. Right. We nearly there, boys? Oi! Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. <laughs> uh, good old Thomas. Alright, I don't think either of them went close to below half, so we're good. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need.
The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Well, rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. All righty then. Johnson's errand. Mission complete. 100% sync as well. Let's go. Full synchronization. Let's keep the eye eat. Where's the main objective? Around back, is it? I ain't playing. I ain't playing a game at you, fam. Wait, where's the mission? Am I supposed to leave? Oh, it's upstairs still. Thought we were done up there. It almost felt like it sent us down here, to be honest. But I was still meant to talk to, uh... Oh, I was meant to talk to Charles, that's it. What's up, Charlesy? What's happening, bud? Next on the list. Evening, gentlemen. <coughs> Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Taddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> oh. I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Church will. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. <laughs> right. Let's see that. First, I want to check if we can just leave the Animus at any point we want to. Because it says right here, like, leave the Animus to read your emails and stuff. So let's leave the Animus currently. And can save progress will be lost. Yes. Okay, I don't think we have any real save progress anyway. I'm three away from 73,000 subscribers right now. I'm going to have hit it by the time this video goes up. But pretty cool to see right now on my uh, real-time subscriber count. Clock thing. What's up, boys? How we doing? Hello, father. Yes. Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. All right, Dick. Jesus, up. Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. You are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Woo! Jesus. Christ. Kind of grim, honestly. Receive messages, okay. What's up? Hello. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You've sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. Put all that work into the database and help me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. Damn, didn't even get a thanks. Right. Back into the animus we go, I suppose. <laughs> 